Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. If you drop a like on this video in the next, fuck that, they get all right. We don't do that. We don't do that on this channel, bro. Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? What is cracker like it? What's motherfucker hand it? What is popping, my G's? How is everybody doing today, guys? We're gonna be showing you the penthouse glitch. It is still working, and this method is amazing. You dupe a car in about five to six minutes. Anyways, let's get this started. So make sure you have a bunker. Make sure you have an MOC with the personal vehicle storage inside. Make sure you have the hauler custom, guys. Make sure you have the hauler custom now if you have the phantom custom don't worry guys You don't have to buy the hauler check out the pinned comments below I'll put the video description on the same glitch just with the different method It works with both the phantom and the hauler But anyways after that make sure you have a penthouse and make sure you have a arena or a nightclub It does work with both after that guys go ahead and just make your way to story mode go to settings go to controls and change your target mode to free aim change your target mode to free aim and just start up an invite only session all right i'm sorry guys this jewel is hitting right now but anyways whenever you're in an invite only session make your way inside the bunker whenever you're inside the bunker make your way inside the moc by the way make sure you have the car you want to duplicate inside your moc after you have the car inside your moc just get in the car and just drive out of your moc now whenever you drive out of your moc just drive your car up to the MOC and just take it right by the wall just take it right by the wall and just park your car right by the pole and make sure you have this right d-pad option to store your vehicle inside your mobile operations center once you have the option get out the car and once you get out the car check to see if you have the blue bubble if you don't have the blue bubble by the MOC get back in the car and readjust your car basically just make sure your car is against the wall as far as possible from the MOC and you have the right d-pad option to store your vehicle inside your MOC after that just get out the car and check to see if you have the blue bubble by your MOC now if you don't have the blue bubble get back in the car and just readjust your car again guys it does not take long do not give up you know what I'm saying just park it just by the pole against the wall as far as possible from the MOC and make sure you have the right d-pad option to store your vehicle inside your MOC after that just get out the car and just make sure you have this blue bubble by your MOC once you have the right d-pad option and the blue bubble you are set guys go ahead and just exit the bunker so like i said make sure you have both options okay once you have both options go ahead and just exit the bunker whenever you exit the bunker pull out your pause menu and start up any job right by your penthouse okay i put too much tea in the pent i know guys i'm sorry but start up any job right by your penthouse okay so start up the job right by your penthouse and just wait for the job to load up now whenever the job does load up go ahead and just press your home button Whenever you press your home button, join up on anybody's session that's playing GTA 5 online. This is why I said being a free aim target mode, because everybody else plays on auto aim. But anyways, join up on somebody's session that's playing GTA 5 online. Once you do join their session, it's going to kick you back into the game and give you two alerts. Okay guys, go ahead and just accept this first alert that it gives you. Accept this alert, and once you accept this alert, it's going to give you a second alert. Decline this second alert decline this second alert okay so as soon as you accept your first alert and decline your second alert you will be job teleported to the job that you chose after this guys go ahead and just make your way to your penthouse whenever you're at your penthouse go ahead and just you know enter <laughs> it does not work with the apartment by the way only a penthouse so make sure you have one but anyways guys once you do that make your way inside your heist room and also I forgot to mention that you need a active heist I'm sorry guys I apologize uh, come me some slack okay but anyways so make sure you have an active heist like a setup or anything but once you're inside your heist room what you have to do is you have to hold your pause button while you're holding your pause button press right d-pad while you press right d-pad let go of your pause button at the same exact time so hold your pause button while you're holding your pause button press right d-pad while you're pressing right d-pad let go of the pause button at the same exact time and it should look just like this with the heist menu in the background and the pause menu pulled up after this go to online and just select criminal enterprise starter pack and just back out of that and back out of your pause menu now from right here pull out your interaction menu select apartment style and select modern now once you select modern you're gonna get this black screen once you get that black screen, wait for the black bars to reappear around your boards and select Moody. Once you select Moody, wait for the black screen and wait for the black bars to reappear and keep going down the list. Select Vibrant. 
wait for the black screen and wait for the black bars to reappear around your boards and keep selecting all the options until you stop getting black screens just like me okay so keep going down all the options until you stop getting black screens now once you stop getting black screens like me back out of your interaction menu and back out of your highest board and just leave the room now whenever you leave the room go ahead and just pull out your pause menu and whenever you pull out your pause menu start up any job right by your arena or your nightclub okay like I said it does work with the arena or your nightclub so start up any job right by your arena or your nightclub so damn who the fuck is texting me but anyway start up the job right by your arena or your nightclub whichever one you're doing this at whenever the job starts up press the home button and just join up on a friend again just join up on anybody session once you join their session it's gonna kick you back into the game and give you two alerts go ahead and just accept the first alert that it gives you accept this alert and then it's gonna give you a second alert just like this decline the second alert now whenever you accept the first alert and decline the second alert you will be job teleported to the job that you chose now after this go ahead and just enter your nightclub or your arena whichever one you're doing this in it doesn't matter it works with both but whenever you enter your nightclub or your arena make sure you have a free elegy inside once you have a free elegy inside your nightclub or your arena just enter your free elegy and just drive out now whenever you drive out what's gonna happen is you're gonna spawn out without the elegy that's perfect after this pull out your pause menu and start up any job right by your bunker start up any job right by your bunker whenever you start up the job right by your bunker wait for the job to load up whenever the job does load up go ahead and just press your home button and just join up on anybody session that's playing GTA 5 again so join up on somebody's session that's playing GTA 5 online after you do that it's gonna kick you back into the game and give you two alerts go ahead and just accept this first alert that it gives you like this and decline the second alert now whenever you accept the first alert and decline the second alert go ahead and just make your way to your bunker whenever you're at your bunker go ahead and just enter your bunker now whenever you enter your bunker go ahead and just make your way back to the car that you parked by the pole once you're at the car get in the car and just get out the car okay so get in the car get out the car and make your way inside the MOC whenever you're inside the MOC just exit the MOC whenever you exit the MOC make your way back to your car and just get in now when you're back inside the car just press right d-pad now whenever you press right d-pad you're gonna get this alert right here go ahead and just accept this alert now whenever you accept this alert guys congratulations you have duplicated your car it's that easy guys so the original car is gonna be back at the nightclub or your arena and the duped copy is gonna be inside your MOC just like this now guys if you want to repeat this method go ahead and just start up a different invite only session and you know do the same thing that's why I recommend you to set your uh, spawn location to your bunker so you can keep on duping really quick uh, so guys this is the card that I just duplicated guys is this easy bro like this glitch is so easy stop sleeping on this glitch do this glitch while you can